Hi everyone, welcome back to Station Islands channel. Today I'm going to share some Christmas page ideas for your bullet journal. Christmas is right around the corner and if you're still not feeling festive, I hope this video helps you out a little bit. I will also be announcing the winners of our December Plan With Me giveaway, so if you're curious to know who won, please keep watching. So my first idea is just a quotes page and the purpose of this is to just kind of set a theme for Christmas or what you would like it to be. The quote I picked is, the best thing to do with the best things in life is to give them away. Personally, I want mine to be all about giving and I want it to carry on to the next year, so it's nice to just have a quote about that written on my bujo to remind me each day. So I just drew a triangle with a pencil and I wrote the quote inside to form the shape of a Christmas tree and I'm just adding a star on top and the tree trunk below. Then I'm just decorating the rest of the page with some sparkles. My next idea is a countdown page and I've taken inspiration from a colouring book and I'm just drawing a picture of a snowman and dividing its parts in 25 little sections that I can colour in from the start of December until Christmas day. I think this is just a fun way to track how far we are into the month and I find that doing something like this helps me get a bit more excited about something. My next idea is an affirmations page. Christmas can be really stressful and can even be lonely for some people so it's important that we make sure we are still taking some time to look after ourselves no matter what. So I want to create a page where I can find some quotes that will lift me up. And for this, I'm just drawing an outline of a stocking on a separate piece of paper and then I'm cutting that out to then decorate. And for this, I went for that pattern knit kind of vibe. Then I'm just gluing the outline of the stocking but then leaving the top bit to create a pocket. And then I'm sticking that onto my bujo where I'm going to put different affirmations that I can meditate on on days where I feel like I really need it. I know this sounds a bit cheesy and maybe even embarrassing, but I really think that picking a mantra for the day and meditating on that helps set the mood for your day. So for Christmas, I know I'm going to be busy and stressed, so I'm writing affirmations like I'm capable of so many great things or I'm focused, persistent and will never quit. But you can write anything you want to help you achieve your goal. So if you want to practice self-love, productivity or kindness, you might want to meditate on quotes surrounding those. But of course, if you don't really meditate or aren't really into that kind of stuff, you can just use this talking for other things. But if you do meditate, let me know in the comments below what your favorite affirmations are. I'd really love to know. The next page is quite possibly my most favorite page, which is the Give Back Advent Calendar. So if you watch my December plan with me, you will know that I already have an advent calendar in my bujo where I wrote little fun activities to do. Now, in this advent calendar, I will write things that will give back to others. So for this, I'm just measuring the size of my advent calendar door on my bullet journal, and then I'm taking that measurement and drawing it on a separate piece of paper. But on this, I'm doubling the size so I can fold it in half. This way, I can write my special mission inside and then I can decorate the outside. For this, you don't necessarily have to buy things to give to someone. You can write simple things like volunteering at a shelter, complimenting someone, calling your parents or telling a friend how much you appreciate them. The purpose is to do something that will make someone feel good. Then I'm just shuffling the pieces of paper so what's behind the door will still come as a surprise. And then I'm just taking my glue tape and just gluing the doors on my page. I found that the doors were opening slightly and if that doesn't bother you then that's okay. But I don't really like it so I'm just adding a bit of blue tack to them so they stay shut. I really like this idea just because it really follows the quote I decided to set for this month and for the new year and I just think it will be challenging and fun for me to do. The next page is a page dedicated to all the gifts you plan on giving to your friends and family. I've already done a gift list page for my December setup, which I showed you in my plan with me video, but I realized that I needed another page for my presents, so I thought I'd do it again here. So I highly recommend to do a two page spread for your gift list page. And the same as last time, I'm just drawing gift boxes for you to write your present ideas on. 
A great page to do right after your gift list spread is a budget tracker. So for this, I'm just creating a table with different columns to put the date, description of the item, total spent that day, and the money you have left. This will really help you keep track of how much money you are spending on things for Christmas. This will include all the Christmas presents, Christmas decorations, ingredients for baking and cooking, and all the other things you will spend your money on for Christmas. It's just a great way to see if you're going a bit too overboard so you can tone it down a little bit if needed. Another great page to do is a Christmas movies page to put all the Christmas films you want to watch. So for this one I'm just drawing a roll of film. I have done a page like this before in my bullet journal collections page video. I will leave a link of that in the description box below if you want to check that out later. Then I'm just decorating the rest of the page with some Christmas doodles. And then in the boxes I'm just going to write the name of the film and then I'm drawing 5 stars that I will colour in depending on the rating I'm giving the film. The next page is for saving my favourite Christmas recipes because I love Christmas food and just food in general. If you like cooking or baking, this page is perfect for you. So on a separate piece of paper, I'm just measuring out the boxes that will fit in my page. And like the advent calendar, I'm doubling the size so I can fold it in half to create some sort of card. Then I'm just labelling the front with a drawing of the food and in this case a Christmas pudding. Then on the inside, I'm just going to write the ingredients needed and the method. Then I'm just taking my glue tape and gluing all of my recipe cards on the page and as usual, I'm just decorating the rest of the page with some sparkles. The next idea is actually taken from Kaylin's Corner and it's a page for tracking your online orders. I found this very useful since I buy a lot of Christmas presents and decorations online, so this will really help me keep track of what I have purchased. If you want to watch Kaylin's video, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can watch that after this. So for this tracker, I'm just creating a table with columns for the order date, the website I ordered from, the items I bought, and once they have been shipped, I can fill in the shipping date, and when they have arrived, I can give it a little tick. On the other side is a little Christmas wish list. I've already done a Christmas wish list in my December setup, but this one is a slightly improved version since I'm putting everything that I could possibly want in different sections. So I'm just drawing little boxes and labeling the different sections. I think this one is a little more helpful, especially if you really don't know what you want for Christmas, as the different categories can give you some ideas. And after all of that, I think it's important to take a moment and reflect on everything that's happened this year. December is always a very sentimental month because it's the last month of the year so it's always nice to think about all the good things that happened to you and all the struggles that helped you grow. This page is where all of that will go which can be quite nice or funny to read again in the future. And finally, after all the reflecting, you will need a section for your future goals. So here is where I'm going to write all of the things I want to accomplish in the next year all the stuff I want to learn and improve so it can help me look forward to 2019 because I actually have targets and plans. So at the moment I have one for work, relationships, travel, spiritual goals, creative goals and health. And if I ever think of more categories, I can always carry this onto the next page. Alright, just before I continue with the flip through, it's time to announce the three winners of our giveaway. congratulations to our winners we will be in touch with you shortly with information on how to claim your prize thanks so much to everyone for entering the giveaway if you didn't win don't worry we are planning on doing more giveaways regularly so please stick around and stay tuned for those and here's a final flip through of all the bullet journal holiday spread ideas i have for you i hope you found this video helpful as always if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and that's all for now, see you next week.